how to get the data from multiple tables we have a concept we will learn that now we will go with joins we'll see what exactly is joins and we'll see in the later part how to implement by using the code as well right now before we jo we go with the joins concept we have around uh, five to six type of joins which we use in the real time okay now what is this inner join you have the green table you have the yellow table the definition says a record should match on both tables never mind about the definitions let's jump into the example when i want the details of a customer name when i need address what order he placed when did he place these are the requirements which i wanted these are the requirements which i wanted if i go and do a join or this common column i will get this this is my requirement orange table is my requirement how can you say that this is my requirement name i have got from this table address i have got from this table that was my requirement i need details of a customer name and address and what order he placed when did he place what order he placed it is coming from this table when did he place it's coming from this table so basically if you observe carefully i am taking this information i am taking this information i am also taking this information i am also taking this information two columns from this two columns from this i was able to achieve it by using inner join my requirement is satisfied my requirement of getting two columns from this table two columns from this table is satisfied in the orange table orange table is my final results how to do it in code we will see later part but first try to understand the theory now come up with a definition records should match on both the tables records should match on both the tables here two was there two was matching with two i have got the that result that is kilan three three was matching with three again i have got kaushik i have got two times because he has purchased two times and four chaitali only matched records will come in the both the tables wherever the matching records are there only that information will come you have four records here i will get four records but maybe i have not selected this in my select code in the select code i have selected only oid date from this table i have selected address i have selected name which i have got it left to join now don't worry about the definition again there is a green table again there is an yellow table the same two tables suppose if i apply the left to join what will happen is all the records from the table left will come that is the green table Gr green table i will call it as a left table or i will also call it as a a table where all the records from the table a will come those are purchased those informations i will be getting from the b table as well which is a low table for the rest of the people i will not get any information now if you see in this table the orange table in the orange table i will ask you a simple question how many customers are there in amazon can you get this information or not which are the customers who did not purchase it only from the orange table can it can you get it where you can apply a logic called where oid equal to null if you put that you will get only this four records okay you will be able to get all the customers who are there in amazon also i am getting whoever customers has purchased also i am getting whoever are the customers who did not purchase also i am getting and my finally i am able to get two columns from this tables 
two columns from this table, I am able to get all four, all the requirements is able to fulfill by using this type of join called left join. Now we'll go back to the definition. Display all the records from the table A. This is a table A. You display all their IDs. If they are order, you replace their order with this table. If they don't have, you replace with null. Common sense. If they don't purchase, their order ID will be null. If they have not purchased, the date also will be null. By using left to join, displays all the records from the table left and the matching records from the table right and rest of the elements will be null. Now the definition says display all the records from table B. Now again, assume this as a left table, assume this as a right table. Now I have got one guest order. The guest called the, the order ID called 199 that is placed on 31st December 2010, which does not have customer ID means this has been ordered by guest people, guest order and it has been purchased for 9,000. Now, according to the right join, all the records from the right table will come and the matching records from the left table will come. This is how the result will be. Now, in the orange table, can you tell me why the last order is not having any name or address? <laughs> he's, a, he's a guest customer. He does not have a name or an address that is mapped into my main table. Now tell me in this, in this orange table, can I get to know how many orders has been placed as a guest? Select star from or select count of OID from the orange table where name equal to null. If you do this, you will get to know this answer as well. You need to explain me full join. Observe carefully what is happening and also listen to my four questions, which I asked in the previous slides. Think by yourself. Are you able to answer all the questions? List of customers, list of customers who did not purchase, list of customers who purchased, list of customers or list of orders, which has ordered as a guest. Tell me from the orange table, will I be able to answer all the four questions? Okay, let me go one by one. Okay, let me go one by one. Matching records from both the tables. Let me go one by one. In this orange table, okay, let us observe that. This is having seven records. This is having four records. So how many records is the orange table is having? Four. Four. Four records. Four records. This is having seven records. This is having four records. So totally how many I am having? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why eight? This guy has repeated twice. Now coming to right joint table. This is having seven records. This is having five records. So I'm getting five. Now coming to full join, this is having seven. If you observe all the joins, what is happening in full join? Now I'll tell you one fact you need to take it into consideration. Okay. Though inner join was not useful for answering any questions. Inner join was, was able to only to join the conditions. Left to join was able to answer all the questions except one. So right join, I was able to answer one question, which was about the guest. But if you come for full join, all the questions I'm able to answer by using this orange table. But unfortunately, the disadvantage of going with the full join is the table size is increasing. This time it's fine. Okay. What if, what if you add 15 guest orders, 15 guest orders. So this number will increase. This number will increase. You will get all the 15 orders. You will also get all the nine, seven customers and also whoever has purchased, not purchased. So this number, it may uh, go up to 25. Example. So the problem with the full join is the table size is increasing. Though the green table was only seven records, 
though the yellow table was only five records but you were getting nine records so slowly depending on the data the orange table will increase the size of the table will increase are you with me yes sir sis it includes both yes, left sir. joint sis it includes both left table as well as the right table so the problem with the orange table is i'm very happy that you are able to answer all the questions but unfortunately your table size is in increasing at one point of time the table may explode a table will have a limit a table will have a limit a table can accept only 5 gb of records example a table can accept only 10 gb of records they have some limitations depending on the database which you are using in mysql it could be 2 gb in oracle it could be 5 gb these are the limitations but if you start creating a table like this at one point of time the table may explode listen carefully though full join was able to answer all the questions in the real time we may not use it the reason behind is the table may explode you can use it to a certain extent after that you need not in, you will not be able to use it so what is the solution now wherever you want you can please go and answer by using left join in the left join i was able to answer three out of four questions use your left join this is also the best join suppose you want any information on a guest orders or the you want any information on the other table use right join parallelly you can switch between right and left and you can achieve your requirement there is no strict rule that you have to always use left join there is no strict rule that you have to always use right join there is no always strict rule that you have to always full join full join means i was able to achieve it at a one go but unfortunately since the table size is increasing i will not use in the real time so probably by using a left join or a right join i will be able to answer all the questions the only join which is lacking in answering all the questions is inner join inner join i may not be able to use it for any questions it is only for the joining purpose but to answer the questions i will use left join i will use right join parallelly i can use both and i can answer the questions as well but the only thing which i will try to avoid in the real time is a full join because at one point of time the table may explode 